Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. We are back from the Benning Conference. You'll have coverage of that coming up uh, in uh, an upcoming issue of Furniture Today. And we have some breaking betting news. Let's go to Aaron Berg. Aaron, what's going on? Big news. Casper made a big announcement yesterday that I'm sure will have a ripple effect. Um, they are hitting Target stores nationwide. Uh, they will have their products hitting the shelves on June 18th in 1,000 Target stores, um, their mattress protectors, sheet sets, and of course their mattresses. Um, the mattresses will actually be available at 35 locations for people to experience, um, but they can only purchase them on Target.com. So we will see how so, that So unfolds. the move from e-tail to brick and mortar continues, and uh, we'll have a little more on the reverse of that coming up in a minute. But Tom, you have some news also. Yeah, well, Bill, I was at Furniture Land South on Friday, day before they had their sort of grand opening celebration of their new revamped youth gallery area. And this is about a 13,000 square foot area, up from about 9,000 previously. It has um, different props, like a giant tree that kids could crawl in, a, a, a giant flower pot, and uh, it, so it kind of has the look and feel of like a kid's museum. So they have kind of things to keep them occupied while their parents shop. And the merchandising approach is the folks at Furniture Land South realize that a lot of people are looking online for their furniture. And they wanted to kind of duplicate sort of the lifestyle approach. You know, you go from room to room in the gallery to different vendors. So it's, as Becky Green describes it over there, it's sort of a process of discovery. Well, speaking of uh, bringing the furniture spear experience online, mm -hmm. you've been doing a, a lot of coverage this week of Amazon and its move into the furniture business. Right. There was yet another report out um, about Amazon's furniture um, efforts. The latest news out was a Wall Street Journal report saying that they're going to build four huge furniture and appliance warehouses. Um, it's unconfirmed and actually Amazon, they said they don't comment on rumors and speculation. But if it's true, I talked to a supplier of home theater seating who sells on Amazon. They said it'd be huge for them because it'll cut their costs. Uh, you, you know, they'll be able to stage in warehouses across the country versus shipping one at a time. There's other big reasons why it would be great for suppliers if, if they're actually doing that. Uh, one, uh, one other thing though, another source, Carl Prindle of uh, Blueport Commerce said he thinks the timing is a little odd. Uh, he went to a uh, internet conference in San Francisco and he had access to like uh, hundreds of pages of Amazon warehouse builds and furniture was never listed as a priority in any of it, he said. And also he said, it, this is part of Amazon's playbook when an insurgent pops like Wayfair did with its earnings uh, the day before Amazon comes out with, there's a news story about Amazon getting into that space and that's what happened. So, I mean, they've been pretty open about uh, targeting the furniture space, so it's just a question of how they go about it. But we'll have, uh, I'm sure, lots more to report on that. So that wraps up this week's edition of Frontline Friday. I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business.